Hello guys and welcome to the channel. In this video I will explain how to mull a uh, wooden construction wall as you see here. Um, I will go through it step by step so you can follow along and of course make it by yourself. So uh, let's jump straight into it. So the first thing that we are going to do is um, go to the floor plan, zoom a bit in and we're gonna make our sections to model better. And the second thing that we are going to do is um, yeah, loading in some uh, wooden wooden lumber family from Autodesk. It's uh, very simple. Go to Insert, go to Load f oh, uh, Autodesk Family, and there we browse to Structural Framing, and then you have every Structural Framing piece there is. And you go to wood and then you just pick uh, the dimension number and then load it in. It's already loaded in with me, but I uh, gave it some uh, different names. So first we're going to do is uh, draw, draw a grid line, of course, with sh shortcut GR. We're going to draw it right in the middle, um, extend this one like this, voila, maybe shorten a bit, okay, zoom a bit in more, then we go uh, model a, a wall on the foundations, so we have, a, so we can put our base plate on it, so shortcuts WA, then we go to a, um, we call it Kim block here with us, um, core center line of course, Okay, ground floor unconnected, we go to 300, we'll see in a moment. Now we draw it on the center line, then going to 3, okay, you see it's not that good because it needs to go to the foundation. Go to ground floor level again, we go to the section view, or go to view, and we're gonna extend it, and of course unconnect it to 300. And we have 40, that's good. I'm gonna hide this box. Don't need that. All right, this is uh, enough. Oh, of course we need to join it. Join, oh, um, switch, voila. And now it's better. So the first thing we're gonna place is a beam on top of the bricks. Um, so. We can do it by sh uh, shortcuts uh, BM for beam, and we already have our beam, wooden beam, and I uh, dimensioned it 150 like the brick and 60 thick. Okay, now we're gonna draw it on the center line, and uh, we're gonna see if the elevation is good. Just in case we go to the Bottom, uh, I will show it in a minute why, I'm gonna draw it first. So we have our um, beam, now we see uh, it's in the bricks because it's um, based on the uh, level. So we're gonna um, oh yeah, uh, change the justification because it's now on the center line of the level and we want it on the bottom so it moves up and now we need to um, move it only 40 up because this is 40 so here offset value is 40 and there we go we have our base plate like in the tree here we go again to floor plan draw the insulation again with the wall uh, oh. we go and use uh, 50 and there we gonna extend it also a bit but you will see in a minute go and draw it again on the center line yeah we have a warning because they are overlapping we know so we're gonna justify this to the bottom all right we're gonna lock it there we go there we have our insulation like here in 3d and our wooden framing will be in there but first we're gonna um, make the walls a transparent. So we go to visibility uh, graphics, type wall, um, transparency override. We're gonna use it 70. Now 
you click OK, apply, and there you go. Now you see more, oh, or you're gonna see more um, of the construction uh, framing. So now it begins. Uh, we go again <coughs> to ground floor and we will um, set a work plane. So we go to structure, add a beam system. Um, first, we're gonna make the distance. Um, let's do 300. All right, and we're gonna use the other lumbers. Let me search for the lumber. Um, where it is? Uh, 150 by 60. All right. Justification uh, is on the center, but we will change it later on, I guess, or not. Center is good. Yeah, center is good because we're gonna uh, pick a work plane or set a work plane. Um, you can do it on a two different way. You can do different way. You can pick a plane. We're gonna do it like this. So you go 3D and you can pick this plane of the insulation wall, but it's uh, better that you do on the grid line and lock them. So we're gonna go to the ground floor and we're gonna pick grid C. So set a work plane and we're gonna not level, but we're going to the grid line C. Okay. And of course we are not in the right uh, view to do that. So as you see, we have here a section so we see the front of the uh, wall so we go to section 2 open view and there you have it and now it's as simple as it is you draw a rectangle like this and the other thing that you do is um, uh, the beam direction not just the beam direction because the beam direction now is horizontal but we don't want it horizontal we want it vertical so we click on the vertical line and there you have it, the beams will be vertical. And all you need to do now is just um, finish finishing finishing editing mode. Now we're gonna select all the um, oh, select all the wooden frames, and we're gonna do it minus twelve. I know it because I've done it so many times. There we go, and we go to the ground floor, and now you see. These are uh, these justifications are on the top, but we don't need that because it's um, not the right uh, place that the lumbers need to be. They need to be on the center of the grid line, and now they are there on the top of the grid line. So we're gonna uh, change to center, and there you have it. They are nice in the center. Okay, so that's already done in 3D, like you see here, and. Um, now we can join a, the numbers uh, because why you can join it um, that's because I will show you if you pick the wall with the join if you pick the wall and you join the number your calculation for your insulation between the wooden framing will be more correctly because you join them and it automatically uh, calculates uh, how many insulation there is left. So the next thing we're gonna do is uh, make a beam for the top so they are uh, nice smoothly uh, uh, connected. So to do that uh, we go to the section 3 like here we're gonna copy the beam or you can draw a new one of course but I like to copy it and I will uh, dimension it um, from the level to the top is two six okay now um, justification is the bottom um, and we will do it to 65 there we go but because it's the bottom we're gonna change it to the top again there we go now we can just uh, align it it's a better way just a line and there we go moving this relation a little bit lower and lock it again and there we have your uh, wooden framing as you see um, that's yeah, how you 
how you do it actually. Um, you're gonna adjust the beam system like you see here, so that's simple. Um, I made a little mistake as I see if I can select the beam system. Uh, okay, there we have it. Go to section two, we're gonna adjust it, align it. And there we go. All right, lock it, and voila, that's how it's done nice and smoothly and that's how you do it correctly now we to make it uh, stronger the wall we need uh, some um, wooden plates uh, in front of it um, that's not quite hard you go to uh, floor plan and again you go to a uh, wa to wall um, you see this not really properly but it's because i didn't join them and the insulation is overlapping so that's why they don't show it properly um, we're gonna use uh, OSB 22 uh, finish okay we will do it like this now we're gonna uh, mirror it voila and the next thing we're gonna do is um, uh, put wooden framing in, on the uh, wooden base plates for the uh, gypsum wall I think that you call it um, so that's quite simple again you go to uh, system uh, not system my bad uh, structure beam system <laughs> and now we're gonna uh, pick a plane and we're gonna pick the plane of the wooden uh, wooden boards now there we go we go to section 3 again oh two and we're gonna draw again a rectangle till uh, the bottom right again adjust the beam direction the spacing will be 250 and we're gonna use of course uh, little ones um, give me a moment uh, we will do, 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 do. no um, they are somewhere uh, ah there we have them 24 by 36 is quite enough uh, we go to finishing editing modes and there you have it you have your wooden framing from the little pieces but as you see they are in gypsum wall that's not a problem we gonna go to the view and then uh, select visible in view and again not top but of course the bottom and voila there we have it now where we now when we are on it you just can mirror it for the other side and again change it from bottom to top and voila there we have it gonna delete this ones for now oh they are unpinned now unpin and now we can delete <laughs> so now we go to the gypsum wall just again show you the wall and uh, there we have it and we're gonna draw it again like this and extend this one uh, oh, not there right and we can just mirror it again that's handy because you use a grid wall a uh, grid wall uh, grid line and in 3d it will look like this and that's it guys there we have your um yeah wooden wall framing so that's how you do it it's uh Pretty simple and easy, so uh, ta da! <laughs> there you have it, guys. Now, what we are going to do is, of course, to put a door into the wall. So we go to door or shortcut DR. We're gonna place it right in the middle, like this. Now, we're gonna do some dimension first to get the interior door right and this will be the same all right and the whole distance or thickness is to 
67, so we're going to use the 59, 59, and the thickness is 267, all right, that's good, we're going to delete the dimensions, now to make this disappear so we can actually go through the door, we're going to use the join tool, join this and this, then join this, okay, I know, then join this, I know, and there we go, we have our doll, door, so um, to place a door, I'm going to make it like this, this seems a bit better, alright, to place a door we need uh, beams right next to the door so we can put the door in place. So we go to the front uh, elevation. Now what we're gonna do now is um, putting some uh, vertical lumbers right next to the door. So we're gonna do that by copy one. I need to unpin it first, my bad. Copy one. And then we're gonna align it with the door. There we go, we're gonna lock it. And we're gonna do the same for the other door. There we go, we're gonna align it with the door, lock it to the door, and now I'm gonna hide these first so I see better hide elements. And now we're gonna unpin this one, align it again. I think it's yeah, the wood, all right. Now, uh, unpin this one, align, there you go, no, it's not the wooden thing, yes, there we go, lock it again. So, why did I lock it? Well, it's a little trick here, because when you're going to move the door, the beams will move with the door. So, that's why I lock it, it's a little trick, handy trick. Now. We need to place here a wooden beam, so we're gonna select a beam, copy it right here, then we're gonna rotate it, of course, to up, and now we see it's in the wrong, <coughs> excuse me, it's in the wrong um, placement, so we need to rotate it, the beam itself, this uh, you do that here, cross-section rotation by 90 degrees, there we go. Now we go again to our section, and of course we're gonna align it. Take the beam, I need the dots, and we're gonna place the dots here, and we're gonna place, oh, and, uh, need the dots of course, the dots here, there we go, and now we're gonna and pin these one. Uh, oh, we're gonna unpin these ones. All right, gonna move them up right here. Same. Actually, I can no, can delete it. I will do it like this and do it like this. All right, and. There we have it, there you have your door. And maybe we can go, no, we need to put them a little bit front here and there. Voila, now coping this one, this one. Now we're gonna remove the coping distance because we don't need that space. So we're going to put zero and there we go, there we have uh, your beam system and with the door inside of it. So we go to 3D model and there we have it.